Well, you know, domestic abuse is just like when I was a hostage. You know, you're a hostage behind your own closed doors uh, with someone that says they love you. And, uh, you know, I always tell people the hardest people to save are the ones that are in love, that love their abusers. And the more you go in and try to save them, not only are you trying to save them, but they are also trying to save their abusers. And, and sometimes that's more than one way is because their abusers are the ones that pay the bills, you know, they lose their home, uh, their kids might be taken from them. There's a whole lot of things, a lot of fear that's been built up over time that that person is trying to save themselves and their children and their home and their lifestyle. Sometimes it's a lifestyle they've gotten used to. They can't imagine going, leaving someone and now probably being on the street, you know, and losing all that ambience that came with that name. Or even the poorest of the poorest people. You see people love, you know, in the, living on a tent on a, on a bridge, living on fear of leaving that person, no matter how dire it is. Yeah. Uh, so I'm not, I, you know, I try to look at this full circle and not try to call out any particular reason why a person became a victim, because that do set up people to be saying, oh, that person's not a victim because she's living in a million dollar house. She's driving a Lamborghini or, you know, he's this and that and dither. But at the end of the day, when they're standing over the grave, they're saying, I wish I'd done something. I wish that I let her, giving her a voice or him a voice because women kill too. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, I, I wished I had given him or her a voice so that they could have talked to someone. Maybe we could have helped, but it's a little too late to help when a person is no longer here with you.